this is a very quick tutorial to show you how to copy and paste between projects in Bidographer. I'll do another video later to show you some of the more complex elements of it, but just so you can experiment a little, this is how it's done. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, the very first thing, you'll get the hang of how to do this, but until, <laughs> until you do, I want to duplicate my project so nothing happens to it. It's safe and nothing will get cut off. It won't overwrite any beads. It's a project I'm, I can experiment a little. Um, having now duplicated it, I'm going to check the dimensions. So if I go to File, it shows that there are 44 rows, 49 columns, and it's in brick stitch. So I'm going to set up a new file that gives plenty of space because if there's one thing that you really need to know about this, it's that the beads that get copied will paste into the new document in exactly the same place. And so if you don't want to overwrite beads and you don't want to get anything cropped off, you want to make sure that the target canvas is bigger and has plenty of room and there's nothing nearby. So you can see by the row and, and column counter here that it's stuck right up at the top of the project. And so when it pastes into the new project, it's going to go in exactly the same spot. So I'm going to set up a canvas that's really big and I'm going to make sure that there's nothing there and that the raccoon has a clear landing spot. So let's go to um, set up a new project. Uh, I'll call it raccoon and mango and set it up as a brick stitch uh, with 100 by 100. That's a bit overkill, but you can get the idea that way. Okay, so now I'm going to open up my raccoon copy the beads by selecting them and then go alt or option C. Now they're copied. I'm going to go to my new canvas, alt or option B, and there he is. So I'll select him, bring him down a little, Maybe rotate him if I want him in that direction. Rotate the canvas a little. And then let's say I want him to be looking at a mango, which I've designed earlier. I'm going to actually move him out of the way because <laughs> I'm going to show you again how I'm going to bring the mango in. I've rotated him, so I'm going to bring him back like that. This is not the top. This is the top. And that's where I'd expect the mango to land, right there. As long as the mango is also positioned right up here, I've, I've got uh, some cleared space. So here's my mango. And you can see by the row count right there, it's right up in the top. I'll select the beads again. I'll go Alter Option C. Go back to this project. Here's one one. I'd expect it to land there. Alt Option V, and there's the mango. So now I can line them up. Now that they're both in the same project, I can line them up the way I want them to be. Select them. You could be sniffing that mango. Maybe there, maybe I'll turn it like that. And there we go. And then if I want to add a background I can do that, and I'll show you how to do that in a separate video, but that's how to copy and paste them in. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Please, please, please duplicate your files while you're learning how to do this so that you don't run into problems. You'll have something to fall back on.